from the studios at Pasco Bravo University. Let's talk about research. What do you like to learn about? Do you like to learn about football skills, new recipes to cook, history, politics, language, culture? How do you learn these skills and knowledge sets? Do you observe other people? Do you watch videos and tutorials? Do you read blogs and articles? Or do you investigate academic literature? Research is essentially the investigation of a topic to find answers and conclusions. The only difference that sets research apart from Googling is that research also implies the continued study of the material and topic being searched. So maybe not everything you look up and read is a form of research, but you probably perform research more often than you think when getting deeply invested in a new concept. Now, per se, there is no definition as such of what the research is about, as it has many branches and the main focus is sought. Human beings by inertia seek information of our interest. We have the ability to seek answers and solve problems, and this is seen even in our day-to-day. In this way, we relate the research, and more generally, however, there are several ways to view and guide the research. However, all research has the same price when it is more constructed. Based on this, let's look at some guidelines that need to be followed. 1. Defining a topic and area of research. Can be a branch of science, can be a social or personal motive, such as police or journalistic cases, etc. 2. Working methodology. The organization of a very schematic and orderly plan of information collection, definition and definition of objectives, temporal space, context, and tool to use. 3. The collection of different data and information, as well as confirmed with the different sources of information that each researcher has. 4. The development of a theoretical framework to support the results obtained. Although it sounds very structural, this part is important because it helps you organize the information more clearly and it is necessary in any source in which it will be investigated. I'm Hannah and this has been a Pascual Bravo English documentary. Until next time, good luck with your English!